Welcome back guys to another exhilarating episode where I'm currently going through all the water blocks I've made in the past. Here we have a dual 50mm TEC water block. Now I made this in a few versions, one for Intel and one for AMD. I also made it uh, in nickel plated or just normal copper. Now the advantage of the nickel plated one is that it never darkened and the nickel plated one looked so wonderful man, it looked so nice. I really loved making them nickel plated. However it was quite a bit more expensive and a lot more hassle for me to get them nickel plated. Now this has my standard issue 3 bar configuration that is cold in the middle and hot out the corners. There are a number of reasons for this. The, the most important being is that it ensures that there's a pretty even temperature gradient across the block. If I just had two barbs, then the TECs would be the coolest where the water was coming in and the hottest where it's coming out. And that's quite an important thing to try and avoid on a TEC block. You want to try and cool the block evenly. Uh, if you don't, then the where the water's coming out will be warmer and therefore the TECs will, will be applying less cooling power to your CPU. The other benefit is that it halves the restriction. When the water goes in, it can take two channels to the left and two to the right, so four channels. If I just had two barbs with the water coming in the top and going out the bottom that means I'd only have two slots so it'd be twice as restrictive well it'd actually be more than twice as restrictive because not only would I only have two channels it'd have to go twice as far and as I've mentioned in the past videos I could have had the water coming in the center and coming out the edges by having more uh, cover sheets milled out to take the three barb configuration and effectively turn it into a two barb configuration however that would have made the block a lot thicker and more costly this also has my little cutouts if you look at the channels it's got these little cutouts now the reason for those is it increases the surface area and increases turbulence which in a block like this are total bonuses. Uh, they're also cut lower into the block, so it's not only just the water going past the sides, it's also the water going along the bottom that will have this benefit. The benefit being, as the water runs down the channel, uh, it reaches a cutout, which is a different width obviously, and this will cause a little whirlpool and this whirlpool will increase turbulence which is a good thing because it reduces the laminar effect which we will cover in one of my videos later on and it also is a lot greater surface area than having just not had the cutout at all so increasing surface area is generally always a good thing and increasing turbulence can be a good thing depending on a number of other factors it definitely was a benefit for the, on this block uh, this is milled from 10 mil copper using a 3 mil in end mill. I could have milled them out of much thinner copper, but that would actually result in less surface area. If I if I used the same design and milled it from say a 6 mil block of copper, that would result in less surface area than me milling it from a 12 mil block of copper. So I hope you like this one, boys, and uh, we will see you on the next episode. See ya. Bye.